Hello people, today is a little bit of a weird episode because we have eight iPhones. Eight. There's a 3G, you can tell because the iPhone text is not shiny, that differentiated from the 3GS which does have the shiny uh, text. We have uh, two iPhone 4s, you can tell because of the antenna line, and one iPhone 4S. We have an iPhone 5, you can tell because it's slate, and then three iPhone 6s. You can also tell, uh, this is a 6 and 6 Plus, you can also tell without the, uh, they don't have the S badge, hence not a 6S. And all eight of these iPhones, not only will they not turn on, they also don't have the bottom screw. That's right, none of these have bottom screws. That means all of them have been operated on. I got all of these to the iPhone 4s and 4S. Now, these three devices are actually the most uh, interesting of the lot because, here's the thing, since they all don't have the back screws, I don't really need to do anything else to open them. I can just open all three of these. And the power button does not work for the two of them. First, we gotta eject the SIM slots for everybody. So, eject. There's one. Here's two. And the third one. I have so many SIM slots. But, um,. There we go. Now it's time to disassemble the logic board. Three dead iPhones, three ripped ribbon cables, but three, three logic board assemblies. Fun. Let's move on to the other ones. Oh my God, I'm making such a mess. This iPhone 6 opens up already. <laughs> Let me just attach the display. Let's find the connector. There we go. So we tackle this one. Disconnected. And we should have one more connector. Let's try not to flex it too hard. There we go, snapped it off. We just want the chip number four. All right, the two remaining ones, we're gonna need the heat gun. So I'll be back after I apply the heat. Heat gun applied, and there we are. This one does not even have a battery, so this one can be safely destroyed. Let's work on this one first. All right, display connector. Okay, should be one more connector. Yep, right here. There we go. There we are. Another one snapped off, another processor. I have quite a few now, which is great. And then finally, this iPhone 5. I'm sorry, but this iPhone 5 does not work. And the final piece. So now let's recap. We have, that's a lot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to go to the blow dryer so we can get these um, shields off so we can finally see the Apple Silicon inside. Okay, so we have all eight pieces. I actually literally, as you can see, I use these tweezers to basically just pry them open. 
And um, I found something interesting. Is that what I think it is? Is this? Hold on, hold on. Is that? Thermal paste? Yes, that's right. They actually did add thermal paste. And yeah, these are the two other A8s that actually cleaned up. But yeah, there is thermal paste, as you can see on this piece right here. Thermal paste, which is the piece of shielding I ripped off from here. Look at the thermal paste, man. Wow. But yes, that's right. There's not a lot of uh, thermal paste residue left on the chip. And with some isopropyl alcohol, you can clean it entirely off. Isn't this wonderful? Here is literally a McDonald's cup. I got because what I'm about to do is not going to be pretty safe, not going to be safe at all in fact, if you're going to use uh, a cup or a bowl that you're going to have to eat out of. So what I'm going to do is use this, load all the pieces in there including all eight of these right here, all eight of the apple silicon chips on the board. This one's on A5, A4. We have one on A6, and then three on A8. So let's toss them in right here. And it's got to be a little scary, but I promise you it's got to be a little fun to watch. All of them in. It's like I'm literally in my kitchen right now. So a little bit of a closer look. Everything's in there. And you can probably guess, 75% isopropyl alcohol. And in fact, we're running out. And for those of you wondering, okay, isn't this really, really bad? Well, number one, it's not like they're gonna be in the functional phone ever again. And second of all, you know, it's not connected, it's not going to be connected to a battery, so. We're just gonna be coating all of this in this bath right here. We're gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna empty out the IPA after this. And now they're all hung out to dry. After that ethanol bath, we gotta let it dry. I'm gonna have the air con turn up to max. And hopefully in a couple hours they'll be completely bone dry and um, formally get introduced into my collection. I don't even know how should I classify these parts, chips, components.